Okay, this video I'm demoing my ISM-6 system, the Stealth ISM-6. It's internal side mount. This is a six sensor system. We got three head and three rim. Uh, I've been doing some R&D on this for the last few, several months. Uh, and originally I had uh, kind of shelved the idea and the main reason for that is that uh, my original uh, Stealth ISM system which is just a single head mount, uh, internal side mount, single uh, sensor on the head, single on the rim. Uh, is, it works incredible. It's excellent. There's uh, nothing really lacking on it. However, uh, there are a lot of people that are talking about and uh, moving towards picking up a uh, multi-head type of uh, drum conversion system or a drum itself. So I thought I'd go ahead and, um, and do some R&D and see what I could come up with uh, as far as my stealth conversions go. So my results are excellent, actually. Um, I'm getting even head response all over the entire head, excellent rim response also. The uh, head response is super sensitive. I have to crank down the input gain on my Mimic module quite a bit compared to my other drum systems. It's very sensitive. So anyway, I will just go ahead and uh, demo the acoustic noise first and uh, then show you the uh, ISM-6 system on the snare here. Uh, I will also hook up this to the Drum at 3 module. Originally, I'll start with the Mimic module and show you the response, hook it up to the Drum at module and show you the response, and uh, comparing with the uh, original ISM system. So those that already have that system, uh, you know, there's no need to upgrade to this. But uh, for those that want it, it's going to be there. I'm going to be releasing this real soon. Acoustic noise levels. Here we go. Let me turn the modules off. Otherwise, we'll get some uh, sound from the modules. I have a um, Go E drum head on the snare. I really like this uh, mesh head. It uh, has very little bounce to it. It's very realistic feeling. I think it's a little bit louder possibly than some of the other uh, mesh heads. It doesn't bother me, but uh, I just love the response of this head. Okay, so there you had some drums and rims, cymbals. Uh, here's the hi-hat. Some of those sounds you would hear, uh, there's some vibration going on since my mic's in the same, uh, uh, on the same rack. It's mounted to the same rack as my cymbals and things. So like that cymbal right there, you can hear the vibration. You can hear uh, more noise because of the stand mount. Okay, I'll turn the uh, modules back on and we'll just do a quick uh, demo on the start off with the snare. Okay, that was with the Mimic. Uh, now I'm, I've got it on the uh, Drum at 3 module and already adjusted my parameters for that module.
Okay, now let me, uh, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to plug the uh, the two box back into my 12-inch two box snare over here, which has my original ISM system on it. I'm going to plug my uh, Mimic back into my 14-inch snare. Okay, so everything's back to where it normally is. Okay, so let me just demo the original ISM system on my 12-inch uh, snare over here on the two box module. Okay, um, I also want to uh, demo the uh, the original ISM system in my uh, toms and my uh, kick drum, of course, uh, on the Mimic module. A little cowbell in there, and my cowbell is right next to my 14 inch tom, and uh, I hit it sloppily. Okay, so that gives you kind of an idea. So I'll just play out of here and uh, see you next time.